Stop! Hammer time. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Beer Business Bureau. So today I'm rocking with the Stone Ghost Hammer IPA. It's a super lemony, super citrusy, super hoppy, super spooky. Awesomeness of an IPA and we're gonna get right into it. It's 6.7%. It is a relatively new release. They just released it back in June. It's August now, so, you know, kind of late, but better late than never, right? Let's do it. The Ghost Hammer IPA by Stone is a 6.7% wickedly good spectral beer that lives up to its subtle but attention-grabbing appearance. It tastes similar to Stone's other IPA offerings, but it really stands out there with bright aromas and its wonderful use of malts. It has a bitter back and it seemingly creeps up on you from out of the blue, but this only adds to its already ghostly character. It's a fun, light to medium body beer that deserves some attention. Ooh, I can feel the spirits just hopping out and wanting to get in my nose. Possibly want to possess me. I'm okay with that. So, in good Beer Business Bureau fashion, we won't smell from the can, because that's cheating. And also, it's not accurate, so we're going to smell it in the actual glass itself. I feel like I've opened up the Necronomicon. You don't understand. I literally feel like there's a bunch of like aromas just waiting to like consume me right now. Unfortunately for them, I'm going to consume them. Pour wise, pour is pretty easy. It's, I mean, I, I didn't really pour it right actually, so there's not a whole bunch of head. Um, however, there's, I can smell, I can sense the carbonation in the beer. Had I poured it the correct way, there would be a, actually quite a bit more head. Yeah, lots of citrus, um, pretty hot forward. I sense a lot of malt, probably because it is so hot forward, but you know, let the taste buds be the judge, always, right? Not as fiendish as I was expecting. I mean, I don't know what fiendish tastes like, but my point being, it tastes like a regular stone IPA, but it definitely has a little bit more uh, rusticness to it. Uh, kind of like it's um, from a different era or a different realm, I should say. Definitely the hops give a citrus flavor, but they also give a very nice bitter finish. Bitter, but not overly bearing, you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's balanced pretty much with the malts that they use with this. Don't know what kind of malts they use. In fact, I don't even know what kind of hops they use, but. So the interesting story about this beer is that it was born of late nights and lots of spooky sounds in the Stone Brewery uh, campus. You know, the brewers, they stay there late at night. They pretty much go on for quite a while. And you know, when it's dark outside and you don't really have many people around you or many people there, you start hearing things and start sensing things that just kind of feel a little off. And when I say that, I mean, you know, they hear creaky pipes, they hear, you know, spooky sounding cellar doors, you know. So I guess just to play on the whole theme of otherworldliness, this was born. So now the taste has actually settled a little bit more. It's a pretty solid beer. I'll give it that. And at a pretty affordable price for a six pack of this. Now it's time for the artwork. I'm actually really digging the artwork on this can. Of course it's simple like stone, you know, always have the cookie cutter sort of, you know, template based artwork but they've really got the colors down the smoky gray up top you know the banding up top got the stainless sort of aluminum finish that's being overlain by the ghostly white sort of uh you know um color palette or i guess um you know, oh yeah color palette it looks pretty ghostly this is probably actually as simple as it looks it's probably one of the better cans I've seen in a while and just in terms of simplicity they've taken the simplicity of this uh, artwork and make made it true to the whole ethereal nature of spirits and ghosts and goblins I mean even the font for the ghost hammer IPA looks pretty menacing <laughs> it's it's a it's a good creative choice I like it you know to be fair I think stone probably should release this beer maybe around Halloween time I guess that'd be a little too cliche. That's probably why they released it in June. Or I have no idea why they released it um, in the summer. I, you know, they, they have their own reasons for releasing things. Maybe to beat the market to someone else, or maybe just because they wanted to release it. You know, it could be just arbitrary. 
I don't know. Another thing that's kind of eerie is that this beer is actually very carbonated, but there are almost no bubbles. I don't know if you can see that, but there's literally, like, it seems like there's no carbonation whatsoever. But it's very carbonated. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they did this beer. I don't know wh how they did it, but yeah, it's living up to his name. And just the name Ghost Hammer, it kind of reminds me of some World of Warcraft stuff. Actually, no, I take that back. Not World of Warcraft. It reminds me a lot of Elder Scrolls. That's what I'm thinking of. And that's actually what I want to play after this review. And this, folks, is the true nature of the Ghost Hammer IPA. It turns into ethereal mist at the very last drop. Who would have thunk? The people at Stone really are magicians. Or... Necromancers, I don't know. Well guys, if you like this review, make sure you press the like and subscribe button. And as always, please share with your friends, please share with your family, please share with your fellow beer lovers, please share with anyone who might be interested even slightly or remotely into beer. I greatly appreciate it. It's very touching to me. With all that said, peace. And always drink better beer.